What's up, nerds and geeks? My name is OMG WTF LOL FTW BRB, and welcome to another edition of the Total Extreme Wrestling 2013 Mod Spotlight. Uh, we're heading on with the World Wrestling Federation still. Uh, we are going to be booking Monday Night Raw as we normally do, but I'm on this screen for a reason. <clears throat> I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about um, some things that I changed and some things that you are requesting. Uh, the one thing I did change is I have, um, for the events, I made Honky Tonk Man a color commentator, and I just noticed that their experience is now excellent, so I've also made them a, made, uh, or had Honky Tonk Man join the color commentary team with Lawler and Ross on Raw as well, and, because, you know, it's excellent, so that'll give us an extra boost. As for some of the things you guys are requesting, as for, um, like, I know uh, one of you commenters asked me to sign uh, Edge, Christian, and the Hardys. I have no problem signing Edge, Christian, and the Hardys. In fact, I plan on signing pretty much everybody in here at some point. The only problem is, is um, if you look at my ideal roster now, I have 46 active wrestlers, and my minimum is 32. Not that that really matters, it's just I have a lot of money going out to wrestlers right now. And, um, they're not super popular. I'd rather let them kind of build up their own popularity while I'm working on my superstars as well. Because I see, you know, I'd rather, I, I'd want to have some superstars who are super popular. Well, not super popular, but popular to keep the show going while I'm still building up names like, for instance, uh, Dirty Devon or Bully Ray or Butterbean, you know? Mission today, though, have Butterbean debut. Or maybe I should have him debut at the Royal Rumble. And have him get, like, the most eliminations. That'd be interesting. When is the Royal Rumble, by the way? Week 3? Oh, we're in December. I was about to say, how do we miss it? Alright, cool. Well, I have really nothing else to say, so... Here are our storylines. I don't believe I've added any. Just double check. Did I show this to you guys? I think I already have. Yep. Let's just move on to Monday Night Raw, shall we, nerds and geeks? Do We do have a backstage report, I was going to say. Oh, we did sign Jerry Lynn and Mas Mascara Sagrada. That was something I didn't show you guys, but we did end up signing Jerry Lynn and Mascara Sagrada. So um, their contracts have yet to begin, but we will have them in the future. It's our locker room incident for being between Farouk and Steve Austin. Oh, man, it's an actual... We haven't really got to see arguments yet, so I think this actually might be the first time we've seen an argument in the WWF playthrough. So Farouk was a focal point of a backstage incident where he antagonized Steve Austin so much that a fight almost broke out. Um, hmm, I'm going to give him a stern warning. Cool, we got it right. He'll try not to let it happen again. You better not. All right, cool. So I believe it said we are in, we're in the Great Lakes. When was the last time we were in Great Lakes? We have not been in the Great Lakes yet, so that's good. Let's go, then. We're expecting 20,000 fans, too. Um, another thing, one of you nerds and geeks actually wanted me to... Um, is this Australia? That's no, Britain. One of you wanted me to go to the Australian region. I am currently looking for it. <laughs> no, this is Australia. I thought I was right. This is Britain. That's what threw me off. Uh, I will hold re uh, shows in regions at some point. I want to uh, build my popularity up, but it is happy, or makes me happy to see that 4,000 fans will be there if I do end up going. So, yeah. So, storyline wise, we want to have a probably an angle start off the show, but who? Let's have. An angle where The Rock is taunting Owen Hart, basically. Hyping for their main event match later tonight. Someone asked me, again, one of the commenters also um, wanted me to push both um, Vader and Owen. And I do have major plans for Owen Hart. I want him to be one of the top guys in my company, to be completely honest. But, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I want him to be one of the top dudes in my uh, my company, so I do have uh, big plans for for Vader. Don't worry. I'm not Vader, for Owen Hart. But for Vader, um, speaking of Vader, there he is. Vader, eh, 
I mean, I have plans and I don't have plans. Like, I want to push him, but at the same time, I don't know what to do with him. I was thinking about putting a pimp party in there, but I kind of want to make them an actual team. By the way, these two are the pimp party, Godfather and Two Cold Scorpio. What do you guys think? You like it? I think it's actually a really cool idea. Should we have D'Lo and Farouk? I think so. D'Lo and Farouk. And after the match, we're going to have Farouk like beat down on uh, D'Lo Brown. So this will be an 8-minute medium match. I like that. Have Bully get the win. Uh, open match. Script. Work the crowd. Decisive. Well, not decisive. Don't want it to be decisive. D'Lo Brown is extremely unhappy. Fine, D'Lo should be kept strong. I also want D'Lo to be the loser. Still unhappy. How can you be unhappy? You're not even, like, a superstar. That's what I thought. Also, I want to have ringside scouting. I know I do this a lot, but it's probably, like, my favorite angle, just because it makes sense. And I want to have the... Headbangers, uh, scouting the Dudleys, continuing that feud on. So have that go right here, and then I want to have a turn, and is it action or confrontation? Whatever, just turn. Can we do post match? Oh yes, we can. A worker who has just won is celebrating. Can we? Do we have something that's not like a worker who just won? Post match beat down after singles match. The singles match, the winner. All right, whatever. We'll do post match beat down, and have Farouk. Ugh, that turns to heel. Dang it. We don't want to turn to heel. We want to turn the face. So. Do the beatdowns not let you turn the face? No, it doesn't. So we have to do a post-match attack. To either. <sighs> Lame. Alright, what we'll do is we'll have Farouk beat down on D'Lo after the match. Give him like a five-minute beatdown. And then that will set up for, like, next week. Farouk will take on somebody, and D'Lo Brown will attack him after the match is over. Sounds like fun. Um, let's do a modern TV opening. I know it's not an opening, but we're going to have Rob Van Dam and Mankind. Have them talk for about... Ten minutes? Ten minutes sounds good to me. Ten minutes, and that'll be fun. I think so. So let's do a singles match. We'll set up for a, a match later on tonight. Exclude booked, by the way. Let's get um, some openers. Let's get Taka in action and have him take on a heel who's a lower mid-carder and have uh, Savio Vega costume the match. I think I like the sounds of that. El Chupacabre? Did we have Taka take on El Chupacabre? Super crazy? He's not... He doesn't really have, like, momentum on his side, though. Brian Christopher has momentum. Yeah. We'll put Brian Christopher in action. Have this be... What is it? Five minutes? Yeah, five minutes. And have... Brian Christopher win, but I want to keep... Taka Minchinoku strong... Open, script, and let's do a tainted win with a flash pinfall. And have Taka get distracted by Salvio Vega. That's fine. No one cares. Well, I mean, people care about the light heavyweight championship. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying, I mean, no one really, we don't want the light heavyweight title on the line because it's not going to give them the title. So we need to use a couple main eventers. Should I do the uh, Triple H Shawn Michaels? Steve Austin, Arma Johnson? Yeah. Let's hype that match. Do a match announcement. 2v2. Subject. Shawn Michaels. Triple H. 
Stone Cold, Stone Cold, and Ahmed Johnson. Okay, now we have that match. So we have uh, have that to look forward to. And we still need to use Taker and the Kane rivalry, and Vader and Goldust. So I'm thinking can't do two tag team matches. I was thinking Taker and <laughs> Vader versus Kane and Goldust. You know what? No. Let's do that match instead of this match. Because that makes a little bit more sense. Considering that uh, I think I had uh, Vader and Kane fight each other. And Goldust like, gave him the distraction. So, mm-hmm. At another angle, can we do hype by manager? It's it this is kind of like a hype. This is not really hype by manager, but it's more like um, Vince McMahon saying, like, uh, oh, sh he's talking crap. Hype in the match that is going to be Austin versus Michaels, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. Jeez. Guys, will let me talk. No, I'm just messing. We <clears throat> still need to push this storyline. We've already pushed this one. I don't know if I'm... I might have RVD fight someone, but... Okay. Let's have um, RVD in action. And we'll have Mankind do a ringside scouting as well. So, Rob Van Dam. What is he, by the way? I see a face. No, he's a heel. That's right. Uh, Rob Van Dam. He's a mid-carder. We can have him. I want him to take on an upper mid-card. Establish him quick. Who can he beat? Not Ken Shamrock. Ahmed Johnson? Oh, that's perfect. And we'll have Triple H distract Ahmed Johnson. Perfect. Love it. La, 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 love it. Rob Van Dam gets the win. Keep both people strong. Open, script, tainted, and it'll be distraction. Triple H gets distracted by, not Triple H, Ahmed Johnson gets distracted by Triple H. And of course, you, you complain. Didn't I keep you strong, though? You want to be protected, too? What a loser. Are you, are you scared, Ahmed? Are you scared? He's still complaining. Why are you complaining? Because you're the loser. Sucks for you. Now you're not getting protected. Shouldn't have complained. You know, sometimes there's nothing you can do, nerds and geeks. Sometimes you're just going to complain. So let's do the ringside scouting again. And, um, yeah. Ringside scouting, have mankind scout RVD. And that'll continue the storyline with Triple H and Ahmed Johnson as well. And if I'm right, Triple H should be taken off, right? Yep. So we just have Vader, and we already are going to be using these, so we just have to find something for Austin to do. And our main event is going to be Rock versus Owen. What should Austin do, though? Hmm. Well, I want to do an angle... It's a backstage beatdown, or backstage brawl, 2v2. And I want to have the Outlaws battling um, the Road Warriors. That way it gives them something to do, keeps them still on television. And I don't have to book the same old scenario over and over again with someone interfering or distraction. You know what I'm saying? Same old thing, different day. That's what I'm saying. At an angle... Where can we have, like, authority? Authority gets attacked. Mm. Oh, wait, it was right here. I knew it. I knew it. There was a matchmaking thing. And, oh, I just came up with something. We'll have Steve Austin. Wait, no, 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 no. The catalyst is going to be Vince McMahon, Steve Austin, and he'll be taking on Rodog and Billy Gone. Perfect. Look at that. 
Look at that, nerds and geeks. Vince McMahon and your stupid creative control. Whatever. So let's... What's the other match we had? A six-man? Let's do the six-man tag match. Um, where is it at? Did I miss it? I, I see it. There it is. 3v3. I was like, where is it at? And it was going to be... No, it wasn't a six... No, it was a six-man. That's the one I'm thinking of, right? I'm so lost. I don't think it was a six-man tag match. No, I'm just tripping. No, it wasn't. I knew I was tripping. It was just a regular tag team match. Tag team. I got a text message as well. Okay. Undertaker and Vader versus Goldust and Kane. And we're going to give Taker the win. Have him pin Goldust. Make it an open match. Script as always. All out. Why not? Nah. I thought about it, but no. And this is going to be one of the major matches, so it's not going to be 15 minutes long, but we'll make it like 12. 12 minutes long sounds good to me. We still need 18 minutes, so I was thinking let's do the handicap match. We're probably going to push a match back. Handicap 1v2. Steve Austin... Road Dog and Billy Gun. Have this go on for about like 10 minutes as well. Austin getting the victory though. I want to keep, actually just make it open. And keep Steve Austin, all of them strong actually. And Road Dog, thank you. Scripted and decisive. I want to push this match back. So, where was the McMahon Austin booked against New Age Outlaws? Let's put just like. I'm going to have this a little higher up as well. Right there, and then have Austin get booked against the Outlaws, and then we'll do this. There we go. And then it's time for our main event, which will be Owen Hart taking on The Rock. Oh, you know what we didn't do? The squash match. But we're going to do a hype video anyway. And this will be 15 minutes. That's what I've decided. And let's have The Rock get the win. Keep them strong, though. Owen as well. Open. Script. All out. Tainted. And we're going to do an interference for Vince McMahon. Well, not attacked. I don't want him to be attacked by Vince. Jesus. There we go. Distracted sounds better. I don't... Oh, yeah, let's put the Intercontinental title on the line. Why not? Yeah. Oh, we still have one minute. Cool. Hype video. Where's Hype? Singles wrestler. Butter bean. I'll give it like a five-minute Hype video. I must cut six minutes. I thought I was allowed to have like... Um... All right, well, we we have to cut six minutes, so let's cut, um, where was the one? Four minutes, it was like three minutes, two seconds ago, but whatever. We'll cut this by four. Yep, six minutes sounds good. All right, cool. Now let's book some pre-shows, and we'll move on, see how this show did, so... I want to get some of the the young guys, or well not the young guys, but the uh, the light heavyweights in action as well. So I'm thinking we'll have Justin Liger take on El, Cupica El Chupacabre. Have that be about like a seven minute match. Have Justin get the win. Make it an open, script, decisive, and we'll do a pre-show. I also wanted to get the pimps, pimp party in uh, action. Pimp party? Get the pimp party in action. Have them take on um, a group of heels, I was thinking. 
But who? Brooklyn Brawler and Mark Miro? Brooklyn Brawler and Mark Miro. That sounds perfect. Even though the Godfather is technically a heel, I'm going to be turning him face. He just hasn't been turned face yet. We'll let, uh, let Too Cold get the victory. And give, make Brooklyn Brawler the loser. Uh, I also want to keep the Godfather strong, so... The Godfather, make that open. Then a script and a decisive victory. Also on the pre-show. And the final match is going to feature an upper... Unless I have any main eventers. If it's, we have any main eventers. No, they, everyone here saw something. I'm not sure Triple H has like the most momentum out of all of them. What about upper mid-carders? Jeff Jarrett, maybe? Ken Shamrock. No, let's do Jeff Jarrett. Get him something. Have, who should we have him fight? Not Butterbean, that's for sure. Or should we push Steve Blackman? You know, I don't really have plans for Jeff Jarrett, so let's give Steve Blackman a win over... I'd say an upper mid-carder, but Jeff Jarrett's the only upper mid-carder. Midian or Salvio Vega? Not Salvio, because we're trying to push Salvio, so... Maybe a lower mid... Oh, golly. All right, Midian. Give him the victory over Midian. Make it a seven minute. Ten minutes. Nah, eight. We'll do eight minutes. Steve Blackman gets the victory. Keeping him strong. Open. And script. Decisive. Pre-show. Probably should have worked the crowd on there, too. All right. Let's run this show, nerds. And oh, I almost had Butterbean music video end the show. Thank God I saw that before. Okay. Now let's run the show. Oh, wow. That got a 55. Good for them. And about that had solid in reaction. Good for them. I'm happy with that. Solid in reaction. Still good. Shows that the uh, Godfather and um, Two Cold Scorpio have like neutral. The change was too soon after his last one. I don't really care that much about Midian, though. So, Steve Blackman got a good rating, too. Oh, look at The Rock opening the show with a 77. Beautiful. The Dudleys are just going to take some time. No, it's not. Look at that. 54. Boom. All they need to do is get in the ring. That is awesome. The match is over. Whatever. I forget the fact that D'Lo is celebrating. Oh, heart attack, 82. Thank you. Shawn Michaels underperformed with Mr. McMahon. That's amazing. 66, good for RVD. Oh my God, nerds and geeks, look at this. His chosen one gimmick has gotten a 93 rating. RVD is definitely going to be a star. Watch his match be... Oh, no, that wasn't... The, I was about to say, did I do it wrong? Got a 43. That's actually a lot better than I thought. And Butterbean got a 60? Good for him. This is a good raw. Oh, my God. McMahon's the star of the night. How did this move along? Just because they're... I'm, this is probably my best show, to be completely honest with you. This, this, is, this is a really good show. Bout that featured great action and average heat. Probably shouldn't have had Austin win. Whatever. Rob Van Dam is a ring about to compete. That's good. Even had a good match. Good show so far. I shot, probably shouldn't have had that right there. But whatever. That could be like they beat down on Austin. You know, beat down on Hawk and Animal because they're mad they lost Austin. Great tag action. Who the hell is Luna's... Oh, he's the, she's the manager of um, Gold Dust. That's right. Oh, I should have had the tag team match end the show. I thought Owen and Rock would have put on a way better contest. Whatever. Six regions? Seriously? We lost it in 12 regions? How the hell did we lose in 12 regions? That was an amazing show, if you ask me. Damn, we really should have had this one ended, though. <sighs> Too much faith in... Uh, 
rocking Owen Hart, I guess. I thought that they could uh they could do it. Whatever. I ain't really that mad. How was Nitro though? Nitro Lightning wasn't as super good as it usually is. That's what's up. Pretty good. I think we still lost though. Brian Christopher's on the rising. They got a 78 and we had like a 73, but we're close, nerds and geeks. Don't say we're not close. They had a 78. We're close. Any uh, emails? We did have one email, and then I'll probably end the show, but look, we have some moral issues. Angry at poor gimmick. That's not my fault. That's your fault. Furious at booking of match. I'm sorry. Yeah, everyone has to lose. Annoyed at poor new gimmick. That's not my fault. That's your fault. So we went up from TSN, and we went down from USA. Huh. Well, next episode, Jerry Lynn will be officially part of our company, along with uh, most likely Mascara Sagarita, or whatever the hell his name is. But, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in that episode. I'm a little upset with the show, though. I thought that would have done a lot better, especially because it looked like the show was really doing well. But a 73 is not bad, especially since Nitro did a 77. But I have to ask myself, what would my rating have been if I would have put this as the main event instead of that? But that's it, nerds and geeks. Hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, don't forget to share, like, and favorite. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. So until then, have a wonderful day. As I try to end the video, because you know.